My name is Stephanie Ochoa and I'm here with Dive Madhouse. We're here in New York Art Center and we're going to be discussing Dive's residency, his art and his art career and how you can better get to know his work and where it comes from. Dive, how long have you been painting? Mm, I've probably been painting for about six or seven years this way, this uh, improvisational and, and um, abstract way, I would say. Okay. And where does that inspiration stem from? The inspiration to my works, generally, I would say they, they come from, so a lot comes from the unconscious. Mm -hmm. uh, so whether that's unconscious in dreams okay. or unconscious when you're actually awake, uh, but a lot of the inspiration stems from that that state of mind where we're in between uh, the wake state and reality hmm. and where our, our mind is sort of um, shut down for the day. Right. Okay. So, just real quickly, before we get into all of the, the truth, into your subconscious and get the, the real scoop, I like to ask everyone one question because it's a self-defining question. Soyo means I am me. So the way that I like to have individuals define themselves, because it is, we're identifying ourselves yeah. every day by telling anyone who we are. For sure. So let me ask you, Dive, how would you complete that phrase, I am? I am. Well, that's a, that's a big question, I would, <laughs> I would say. And generally, I don't think very much that I, it's a good question. And a lot, I would say I leave that up to others because I'm sort of a shapeshifter in contexts. Uh, so, and I guess, and I'm sure everyone is, because we are complex creatures. So in one context with your family, you're one way. Uh, one context with these best friends in, in Santa Barbara, you're this way. Right. Uh, one context in Sweden, you're that way. But at the same time, we're complex creatures, and we are, uh, at the same time, I guess, one person. Right. Uh, so I am... Uh, I am, as a lot of people are, uh, very many me. Okay, I love that. Adaptability is key, though, especially in this industry. We have to be on our toes at all yeah. times. We don't know what's coming. For sure. So you're considered an abstract contemporary artist. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell me about how you found a, a definitive role in this sort of art genre and space? Sure. So that, I would say... That I would say with, with the ever changing of it and also as I, as I briefly said before is so I work improvisationally and so with that I, I never or rarely uh, sketch or uh, put up what I'm, what I'm going to express and so with that I'm, I'm pretty certain that this is something that over time has grown into a, a I would guess a setting or a room um, where where I seem to be uh, be working a lot at this time. Uh, now, with that said, I'm not sure where that room is going to be uh, be situated mm -hmm. or what's going to be inside that room. Let's say four years from now. But but yeah. So today, I would I would uh, I would listen to and and I guess agree to the the abstract contemporary label uh, as of as of now because within that within that setting with these these abstract uh, works more dreamy uh, just raw and generally abstract uh, to these more figurative uh, pieces is the technique is very much the same it's dynamic it's it's fragments from dreams and from the unconscious now just like your dreams uh, a color setting can seem very very natural as well as unproportional things right so as I've been been talking slightly about is that so technique wise is I guess I divide that into two one is the approach technique which I've talked I think a bit more about the improvisational technique in mm. that that I um, go at it without really having sketched about it and and play with the unconscious fragments so that's the approach technique I would say uh, when it comes to the, the where I pr 
prioritize it and put as secondary, I guess. Yeah. With the with the brushes and the knives, so I paint a lot with with raw brushes, pre pretty big brushes, because I like the rawness of it. Interesting. Uh, and then I also paint a lot with with palette knives. Mm. Um, same for the rawness and the raw structure and also building up the see a texture. Lot of, exactly, I was just about to mention yes. that. I see that and I think that that's why I'm very compelled by your pieces because it almost makes me want to touch it. I don't, awesome. I don't know what to expect. Awesome. And I think that that's so important for a lot of artists to consider um, is tapping into all of the senses. Like the smell, yes. like I, yes. I feel like I can almost taste oh, yeah. it, yes. you know? I'm like a cloud of... Uh, I, of greatness, like wow. <laughs> so many colors. Wow. <laughs> so what's next? What do you have coming up? Any more, any new shows? New works that maybe are inspired by your trip here? Uh, next up now is, um, I'm currently showing with Safira Ventura Gallery in, in Venice during the Venice Biennale. That's right, that's so exciting. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Uh, that is exciting. And so there will be showing there for a couple of weeks from now. Okay. Uh, and then, then I will be uh, also showing for, for next month with uh, NYA Gallery's sister gallery, uh, Gallery 104, right. and, and First Dibs right. up, in, uh, up in Chelsea here on Manhattan. Uh, and that's, that's a month. Uh, then I uh, go back to Europe and go back to Sweden, and I will be having a solo exhibition there uh, starting mid-August so that I'm, that I'm uh, pretty stoked about. That's so exciting, and it's inside this like epic building, right? Tell me, tell me about like the location. Sure, uh, it's it's uh, Gothia Towers uh, is the location. So they have the the three probably I would guess among the the tallest buildings in in Sweden. Awesome. Uh, and so they have a a designated gallery uh, in one of these uh, these towers. That's and, incredible. And that's where it's going to be in in the center of Gothenburg. What better way to show epic work? than within an epic building in your home city. Right? Right? Right. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here and joining us and taking the time to answer my questions. Um, I love talking to you, Dive. I think you're awesome. Same, same. So I think this is our time to wrap it up. Is there any last words you'd like to say to our audience? Uh, just, I mean, uh, just likewise also. Uh, thank you for, for this. And, and it's been a pleasure having a, a residency with, with you guys at, at NYA Gallery here in Tribeca. And I would definitely uh, encourage encourage more more upcoming and established international artists to to look into the program because it's been interesting and inspiring in the environment working with you guys and and also looking more into the new york scene right for sure um real quick where can we find any of your work if for anyone watching sure you can do that on the nya galleries uh website you can do it on gallery 104 and first tips website mm -hmm. searching for dive and then uh, for sure uh divemadhouse.com and also on instagram where i work a lot uh is dive madhouse one word so that's a wrap thank you so much for watching we appreciate you taking the time and we'll see you next time
tell me about your technique. Um, let's start with this technique and then let's move to the figurative. Mm -hmm. um, 